So COVID hit. Our investors have done a runner. We don't know what the fuck is happening next and the whole thing is just looking like a mess. So I've had to go back to my strategy from the previous episode where I just decided in my head that I'm gonna go at everybody and I'm gonna be persistent and I'm gonna be annoying and I'm not gonna stop until I get a yes or they tell me to literally get out of here. Get out of here, man, shit, I'm saying. Went back to the drawing board. I didn't know what the fuck was gonna happen next. Everything was just looking like a fucking joke. Like this was, it, it was just done as far as I was concerned. Like I was at that point where I thought that I'm out of moves now. Like I have nothing else I can play. And the promise I made to myself at the start of this journey was that I'd have to do this until like the idea dies or I die. There is no fucking way I'm coming out of this unless one of the two happens. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you think that's necessary? So whenever it gets to a point where things are getting on top, I always try and think of my next moves. But when I get to a point where I have no moves in the tank, that's when I become the most worried. That's when it's like, okay, we might have to call it quits now. So a couple of weeks have gone by and I'm in this survival mode where I'm basically hassling everybody, trying to get anything we possibly can. And in the end, we got a little break. The same investor who I was bothering last time who gave us the 20K, we managed to get him to invest another piece of money. Plus we were able to get more funds from other sources. And then in the end, we ended up with 80,000 pounds. So now we finally raised capital above 100,000 pounds. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. Like to this day, I, it still hasn't sunk in. But at the same time, it's like when you're in it, you realize how small that amount is. Like I said, these investors do not want to give out this kind of money. It's too small for them. Anyway, so we've raised the money now. The first thing in my mind is that I am not going to get caught by this bullshit again. So my first plan of action is as soon as I got this 80K, this is obviously around the time when I've moved here. So if you haven't seen the video where I surprised my daughter with the apartment, because I was sharing a room with my mum's, everything was a bit um, chaotic. This became like my office slash studio slash home. And yeah, there's a video of me surprising my daughter with this place and it is on my YouTube. So make sure you go check it out when you get a chance. But as I'm moving here, the one thing that is going through my head is that we have been caught too many times with our trousers down. So I am not going to allow this to happen again. My first plan of action is that even though we've got 80 grand in the tank, I'm not going to wait for this 80 grand to run out. I am going to go in and I'm going to raise another 200K, okay? It's my plan, because I'm thinking, we've had this happen before. We've had this thing where we run out of money and I'm stressed and I'm panicking and I think everything's going to go to shit. So this time, we are not going to allow that to happen. One of our other potential investors, he introduced me to a company called Crowdcube. Now, a lot of you guys are going to know about this Crowdcube thing. Not the whole story, but you're going to definitely know that we were doing something with Crowdcube. And then it suddenly disappeared. Well, <laughs> So yeah, we've linked up with Crowdcube. They've signed us up to the platform. Everything is looking good. I'm thinking this time I'm not gonna get caught. But sure enough, the universe has its own way of showing you that you are not in control. And this next curveball that we got hit with was the biggest and the worst of the whole journey so far. Like this. I mean, I literally, I cried there, like real fucking tears. And I was saying, I have not got it in me anymore to do this. I cannot do it. I don't have anything left. You sound like a... Like a little bitch. 